ericmother.com. Let's take a look at the cryptos here. I'm going to be taking a look at the top three cryptos. That is Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Ripple. And I'm recording this. Let me show here. August 3rd, 2018. All right. And that is Central US time. All right. Let's take a look here and we can see some of the cryptos are recording highs for the day. For example, Monero is at the high for the day. Ethereum is close to the high of the day. Uh, Bitcoin is about to turn unchanged. And I believe Ripple was also just off the highs. Let's take a look at those charts. Okay. Let's begin with Ripple. We're going to do the monthly chart first. And we don't have a lot of data here. So we can see that just now is when the RSI starting to show. If we take a look at the MACD on the monthly for Ripple, it continues to be facing down and is actually, let's say, trading still close to its all time lows, which is not a good sign as long as the MACD is making a move to fresh all time lows. And as long as the MACD has the potential to continue moving below zero, momentum tends to favor downside action unless unless it can eventually coil back up on the monthly and start pointing up and of course because this is a monthly chart that's going to take many months to play out let's take a look at ripple from a weekly standpoint and on the weekly we can see that pretty much we've been net net sideways trading in this range over the last couple of months and nothing has changed so this might still be a sideways market as far as ripple is concerned if you take a look at this weekly rsi if we draw a line like that and this line gives us the entry here and then ultimately we can say uniform activity below the line back above it for another re-entry here. We try to hold here. Ultimately we come back and test the line and fail. And we've been down since. So we can say net net on this weekly chart. It doesn't show that there is any strong upside momentum as of right now for ripple and something else i can add here is if we take a look at the macd's we can see that we continue trading below the zero line even though there's some evidence here of coiling up but with no string with no strong conviction because that would need the macd's to be above the zero line and if I bring the other MACD, which is close to the default MACD settings, we can see here that we continue trading below zero with a possibility down the road for a potential crossover, but that might take many weeks to play out. So net net, I would say we are not showing any momentum as far as this weekly chart is concerned, or at least in my opinion. If we take a look at the daily for Ripple. Now the daily we can say is starting to show some life. If you take the lows here, market's been coming back to test this level. And so far this level seems to be holding. So as long as it is holding, that's good. Of course, you'd, if you're bullish, you don't want it to break that level which is the lows going back to, let's call it middle to late June. Now, while it is making this attempt to break down, while all this is taking place, we can see that we've seen an improvement of the, of the RSI. In fact, let me draw it a little different. So the RSI continues to show an improvement. 
And that kind of improvement can actually set the stage for a movement to the upside as long as it holds. Now I'll show you why and by the end of this video you might also see the same thing that I'm looking at here. The problem is short term we seem to be struggling to hold this level here. And what I've drawn here is a simple line that goes back to this break. And the break is off the highs somewhere here. And since then, this has been resistance. You can see band of resistance here for this highs, resistance here for that high, rejection here for this high, and now we are still with the underneath of this line. So I would say around here, if we are unable, let's say if we call down and are rejected again, of course, that means that we are still trading in this range here. So the prices have been in this range going back to about end of June, end of June. And in fact, here we can take a look at Ripple you'll see that there is a line connecting the RSI top side which again is pretty much another reason why I think around here they are struggling and even though we've seen a recovery over the last day or so short term there's still possibility of downside pressure keep in mind where we are seeing this resistance here this is around the RSI 50 so generally when you see the RSI 50 show rejection it tends to suggest that they are going to have to test the lows, if not break through the lows. All right, let's take a look at Ethereum's chart. And again, let's begin with the monthly. And the monthly is still at a very risky point. The reason being that the monthly chart for Ethereum is also showing the possibility of continuing to make fresh lows. Now, as long as it is making fresh lows, if it is making fresh lows, it means that it is going to have to test these lows, if not break through them. So what the bulls want to see, as far as crypto bulls are concerned, is they would like to see a recovery back above, showing some stability as far as the cryptos are concerned. So right now, this doesn't look very good on the monthly chart. And in fact, if you take a look at one of the MACDs, we continue having this bearish look, which has yet to change. It must gonna take many months for this to change. We still look at this being a move to fresh lows on the MACDs, which is not a good sign. Now keep in mind also, the other MACD continues to show this look where it is making fresh lows. So the MACDs and the RSIs as far as the monthly chart for Ethereum is concerned, still continue to be, in my opinion, giving us a bearish look. Now let's take a look at the weekly chart here for Ethereum. And on this chart here, we can see that there's a possibility that is emerging that this could be a fresh break on the weekly chart. Now, as long as it continues giving us this look, the risk continues to be that we might have to see lower prices. In other words, as long as we are breaking that trend line, it suggests that these lows, which were recorded in April, might be tested and potentially even odds that we might break through those lows. Right? Now, if you take a look at the MACDs, we can see that on both MACDs, we are trading below zero, which generally tends to be bearish territory. If you take a look at the other MACD, we can see the other MACD continues to be trading at fresh lows. So this is going to take many weeks to resolve, but net net, we are still looking at a market that is giving us fresh lows as far as the Ethereum weekly chart is concerned which means that it is very bearish even as you know it has tried to hold this level the weekly rsis continue to be bearish let's take a look at the daily chart now just like we saw with um, 
the uh, let me see the ripple daily chart is we can see here a test of the lows that seems to be holding which is good and this has come we can see with an improvement of the RSI which is also good so if this can hold you might actually be setting the stage for a recovery move to the upside as long as this line is holding All right now I'll show you the challenge why I don't believe there's a lot of strength one of the reasons why I don't see strength is because on the MACDs recently we got rejected around the zero line so as long as the MACDs are below zero it tends to suggest that you don't have enough strength to sustain a rally we take a look at the other MACD and even here we can see that we've been rejected when trying to move above the zero line and now we are trading below zero again we don't see evidence of momentum given this look now of course short term on a day-to-day -day basis as long as we are holding this line given this retest I would say if you bought ethereum around here it makes sense to continue holding as long as this black line is holding now of course you want to get out of that position if we break below this line because that busted support on the daily would lead to a substantial sell-off given the weekly and monthly chart look now if you take a look at the four hourly for ethereum let's do that and again to keep it as simple as possible we can see that pretty much this level will be is going to be resistance because this is where we stalled recently so this is going to be resistance at some point even if it moves higher and I think around here and I had to pause the video earlier because I had to take a call but so now it's um, it's been about an hour since I started recording the video and this is where the cryptos are trading and there here is Ethereum's price right so what I'm trying to discuss here is on the hourly on the four hourly we can see a line that is giving us this level where it is showing more than likely around here we end up stalling because of this backtest failure so right now the cryptos in my opinion are giving a look of resistance around current levels unless and until they can clear this line of resistance here which corresponds to a recent break here so until we can move above the black line we are looking at cryptos stalling around here now let's take a look at bitcoins charts and we're going to begin with the monthly let's go to the monthly first all right so this is bitcoin and i'm using bitfinex in all of these charts just to be clear all right so we can see that this is the level we were watching on the monthly and we had said that if this is showing resistance that's net bearish for Bitcoin keep in mind if we take a look at the MACD or at least one of the MACDs we can see that even as Bitcoin has held around the 6,000 dollar price mark we can see that this is still looking like showing the possibility of a break below the zero line and as long as we are moving to fresh lows on the MACD on the monthly for Bitcoin it tends to be net bearish now let's take a look at let's take a look at the weekly and on the weekly again we come to an area this is where we broke down recently and that break in corresponds with the 10,000 price mark right here so while we stall and now we are showing rejection again it also happens to be around the RSI 50 now what that means generally is when you show rejection around the RSI 50 it tends to mean that you're going to test the lows 
if not break through the laws. Let, so let me repeat that. Because we are showing rejection around the RSI 50 on the monthly here, it tends to suggest that we are going to test the lows under 6,000, test it, potentially even break through them. As long as the RSI 50 is where it is being rejected. Now to make matters worse, we can see that the month, the weekly MACD is showing signs, potential signs of eventually rolling over back below zero. That would be bearish. We pointed out that the last time we had that type of a look was here and again around the 10,000 price mark. Of course, we came from 10K, went all the way to under 6K. And all that began with this resistance here. Right now, we are showing the possibility of something similar here. So let me remove that so we can, you can see how the MACD is shaping itself. Let me get, all right, so we can zoom in here. You can see what the MACD is trying to do is potentially, if it ends up doing this, that's bearish. If it ends up going back below zero. Now, what the bulls would want to see is something like this recapturing back above the zero line that would be bullish but right now we are not seeing evidence of that so net net i would say this chart looks bearish in my opinion and that is consistent with the other cryptos you looked at uh, ethereum and ripple let's take a look at the daily and this is btc daily you can see that for the day it is moving below 50, suggesting net net the possibility of a big down day. If we take a look at the four hourly, one thing I see here is that we've spent some time. So let me zoom in here on the four hourly because we've spent some considerable amount of time here and again here. We spend time below 30.9. Generally, that means that you're going to have to test, continue, continuously testing the lows until you stop going down below, until you have positive divergence. So until you can have positive divergence by making fresh lows with improving RSI, where the RSI does not drop below 30.9, then that is when you can start a recovery. Let me see whether I can find an example of this here. All right, so a good example here is here we had to test the lows and we had positive divergence. In other words, you can see here that the RSI held above 30.9 and that positive divergence corresponds with coming off the lows here and a swing trade to the upside. It would be similar also to this period here where we made it a retest of the lows but we see the RSI showing uniform activity support around the 30.9 level that positive divergence began this swing trade higher now you can see the difference right now is there is no sign of positive divergence generally that means that you're going to be making fresh lows so even the day the four hourly for BTC in my opinion continues to favor the downside now there's another way to look at this which is probably the simplest way if you take a line connecting the tops of this you can see that we've hit this level and this level this level and now here so net net let's say you wanted to play this to this to the upside the best thing would be to wait for this to move to the upside in other words you'd need movement above the black line before you can get any strong swing trade to the upside. Now let me say, let me show you why I would lean to the idea that this continues to be a market that is poised for sideways to down action. In my opinion, because of this MACDs, generally when the MACDs are below zero, you don't have sustained strength. We can see the other MACD continues also 
to be trading oh let me get that other MACD all right so the other MACD is also below zero and because of that net net tends to suggest that you can recover but there's a lot of weakness in other words the strength is not there to sustain a strong strong move so i would say net net based on what we've looked at here based on ethereum's chart ripple's chart and bitcoin's chart more than likely in my opinion we are still looking at a market that is trading heavy and seems to favor the possibility of lower prices possibility of even testing these lows now one thing i would be looking to for potential support i'll show you what you can watch for see there's this entry here this rsi movement was instrumental in the recent recovery that was a good entry so what i would watch is any future support on this line in other words if the rsi can come back to this line and hold on the daily that might set the stage for where it finds short-term support otherwise the risk continues to be on the weekly chart okay this is not a good resistance around the rsi 50 and also the risk continues to be on the monthly chart because there's a possibility that this continues to be resistance on the monthly and also the possibility of continued bearish look in other words as long as the monthly is potentially making fresh lows on the macd there is a heightened risk and it's just potential here we're talking about the poss possibilities or the odds the odds might suggest movement to the downside especially if the monthly macd continues making fresh all-time lows if it is making fresh all-time lows it means that we are going to take out the recent lows under 6000 for btc all right let me end the video there with a quick look at where markets are trading in the here and now otherwise this is eric mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings enjoy your weekend i am E, a C, S.